What's up, everybody? It's the middle of the week, so you know what that means. Mm-hmm. Quick fix time. But before we go hunting for video games, there's one thing that I got to take care of real quick. I got a letter from DMV. I got to get this car smogged so I can register it. So let's go take care of business first, and then let's do some hunting. It's 420. Mm-hmm. It's Monday, April 20th, 420. So if you feel like it, go ahead and light it up because it might make this video more entertaining, right? <laughs> At the smog shop. One hour later. They failed me. They fucking failed me. Visual. Took them over an hour just to tell me that my headers are not carb legal. Fuck you, they are. I got this car smog two years ago. No problem. Now this year, apparently it's it's only staying my carb number for my headers is only for 2005 and 2006 Mustangs. Okay, I have a 2007 Mustang. You know what? I got the same motor as 2005 and 2006, but because they're on record, it doesn't say it's for 2007 or 2008 and 2009. It's the same fucking motor. So I gotta go to JBA tomorrow and find out what the fuck so I get my car smog because they won't pass my visual inspection because of my fucking headers that I have on here. All right, well, I'm done ranting. Um, God, I'm, I'm not in the mood for fucking uh, game hunting now. So I'm just gonna fucking end this now and um, we're gonna go game hunting tomorrow, hopefully. All right, screw it, I'm going hunting. All right, guys, we're over here at the Bargain Hunters, and let's go inside there and see if, you know, Renee's hanging out or whatever, see if he's working, see if he's hiding any more games like Earthbound or whatnot. That bastard. I could have got Earthbound for 150 bucks, but that's all right. I hooked up Timothy, Mr. Shogun, death with that game. So let's go inside, see if he's got anything new. What do you say? Join me. Want it? Let's go. Got some Dreamcast games in here. Have you uh, backed in any more fences lately? Not lately. I haven't been filming lately. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been seeing you on on the uh, on the show. I think that's the reason why, because I've been backing up into the game. <laughs> but that was like the first episode of last season. <laughs> he doesn't want to take any more risks. Okay, so I just got out of Bargain Hunters, and I ended up getting several DVDs. They're about $2.50 a piece. Um, I got some decent ones. Um, in fact, this one right here, uh, I picked up a copy of Death Race 2000. That's the original, the original movie back in the 70s, I believe it was. Yeah, 1975, starring Sylvester Stallone and David Carradine. Um, I picked this one up because I don't have it, and also for two dollars and fifty cents, this, this I was gonna say game. This movie right here is worth ten to twelve bucks, so definitely had to grab that one. Um, this one I picked up because I, I remember seeing this one a long time ago. This was a great movie about people dealing with being in gangs and stuff like that, and the consequences, you know, family-wise and whatnot. And, and that is a movie called South Central great movie if you've never seen it that's definitely one to watch um if you guys can't tell by now i'm not only a fan of games but i love watching movies too um speaking of movies <laughs> this one right here i'm really excited about i've been looking for this one for quite a while it's one of my favorite 80s movies uh comedy movies uh back in the day starring the fat boys 
and every time I look for it, I know it's like out of print and whatnot, um, and they're always wanting like 15 bucks for it everywhere I see it, uh, but for $2.50, I was really glad to get me a copy of The Disorderlies. This one is definitely a great movie, fun to watch over and over and over. I mean, you can't go wrong with the fat boys. <laughs> I also picked up a Mel Gibson movie called uh, Payback, which I, I thought I have, but I'm pretty sure I don't. Um, but the main reason why I picked this one up is, I don't know if you, you know, some of you guys follow me on Facebook. Um, I had a guest staying at my hotel the other day, uh, him and his brother, um, David Paymer, very famous actor. And this is one of the movies that he was in. So, you know, I kind of like you know he was he's a good actor and I kind of like you know when I meet somebody that's a celebrity and stuff like that I like to have a little piece of him or her Ooh yeah um, but you know it's really cool to be able to like pop in a movie and be like yeah I met that guy I know that guy or whatever so I ended up you know looking for some David Paymer movies in there um, I found another one as well I remember seeing this movie back in the day on HBO really good movie with Billy Crystal um, called Mr. Saturday Night um, great movie if you've never seen it uh, David Paymer, he's right there on the cover, if you can see it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know he was staying at the hotel. The only reason why I found out is because his, his card key wasn't working, or at least he thought it wasn't working. Uh, so I ended up walking over to the room with him uh, with the extra set of batteries and some fresh keys in case that key wasn't working, which I knew it wasn't, because usually nine times out of ten when somebody says their key isn't working, it's user error. So we get over there, he puts the key in, pulls it out, it doesn't work, and I'm like, well... You see, the problem is you're pulling it out too quick because a lot of people think that our, car, our key cards are like credit card where you got to swipe real quick, um, but it's actually a chip on the card. So you got to put it in, the machine's got to read the chip, and then it'll give you a beep and it allows you to go in. But if you stick it in, pull it out too quick, it goes, yeah, beep, 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 which means it didn't read it. It recognized there was something in there, but it didn't read it. So I told him to stick it in there, wait for the beep. And he did, and the key works, and he apologized and everything. I'm like, hey, cool. And I'm like, that's cool, man. Don't worry. I deal with this all the time. Um, so, but as I'm, like, helping him to get into his room, I'm, like, telling myself, I know this guy is, I know this guy. I know he's a celebrity. I know he's in a lot of movies. But I didn't know his name in real life. So I went back to my office. I, you know, checked out the name that was registered for the room that he's in. Sure enough, David Paymer. I pointed it out to what movie one. He was like, oh, man, I loved him in Carpool uh, with Tom Arnold, which that's a great movie as well. Definitely looking for a copy of that. That was always a fun one to watch. Um, I also picked up um, another really good movie, which surprisingly enough I've never seen, um, but that is American Graffiti. Great movie. Richard Dreyfuss, uh, you know, Ron Howard, um, you know, directed by, uh, who was it directed by? George Lucas, written by George Lucas, uh, produced by Francis Ford Coppola, that's right. Um, I've always been looking out for this one, but just never seen it, so I saw that in there for two fifty. Had to get it, had to get it. But the last one that I got, I didn't pick it up for me, I actually picked it up for Mr. OGP, uh-huh, and that is, and you're probably going to think, why the fuck did you get this for him? Um, but it's the Whoopi Back to Broadway, the 20th Anniversary. Now, why would you think that OGP would be interested in that? Well, I don't know if he is or not, but I do know that OGP is actually on this DVD. Yeah. Who would have thought? He, Him and his wife, they went to go see the taping when they filmed the show um, out there in New York. And they got put up like right up in the front row, right in the center. They got great seats. And throughout this video, when you're watching it, uh, you could see Mr. OGP and his wife. So I figured this would be a great thing to pick up. So the next time I see him, he can actually have a copy of the, you know, show that him and his wife went to go see. You know, 250 Why not, right? So anyways, that's all I got at Bargain Hunters. And uh, I'm going to go check out a couple more thrift stores. Um, hopefully I can find some games. I hope so. You know, I make this shitty day because my carding gets smogged into a, you know, a decent day. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go around the corner over to the Salvation Army. I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, guys, I'm over here at the Salvation Army. Let's go inside and see what we can find.
struck out again, goddammit. No games, but I did find a VHS tape sealed. I'm a fan of wrestling, at least the old day wrestling, back in the day when Andre the Giant was the, was the man back then, him and Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Ultimate Warrior, um, you know, George the Animal Steel, uh, Junkyard Dog, you know, British Bulldogs. Uh, but this one was sealed. I picked it up for 50 cents, and I haven't seen any sold on eBay, but people are asking anywhere from 8 to 15 bucks for this. Um, but I'm definitely going to keep this in my collection. Uh, but, you know, look nice on the shelf. Um, I was sad when he passed away, you know, due to his uh, genetics or whatever it was that ended up killing him. But uh, I'm going to go hit up one more spot around the corner uh, at a local Goodwill, which... You know, I normally have good luck at, so um, hopefully I'll find me some games. Let's go. All right, I'm here at my next destination, my final destination. I'm looking for some games. There better be some games. <sighs> Disappointed, disappointed. I got some movies, got some movies. Didn't find any games today, but that's all right. I'm gonna go home and watch the movies. Speaking of the movies, let's take one more look at the movies that I got for the day. Mm hmm. Looking forward to Disorderlies, Mr. Saturday Night, Death Race 2000, and of course, American Graffiti. All right, so that's gonna do it. I am the Fluffy Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.